Good day, folks. Today in this video, I'm going to show you two ways to import fonts into LumaFusion. So let's go ahead and we will launch LumaFusion. We'll create a new project and I'll just drag some footage down into the timeline. Now, if we go to add a title and we go to edit the title, there is a nice amount of built-in fonts in LumaFusion, uh, but sometimes you run into those situations where you're looking for something very specific. Maybe you're doing some work for a client and they require a specific font. Uh, in this video, I'll show you quickly how you can do it two different ways. So the first way is using an app, a uh, font app. Uh, this is the one that I use quite a bit. It's called Fantasy. And uh, basically, it has all kinds of different fonts in here that you can put directly into LumaFusion. Let's do this one here. It gives you a preview of all the letters. You can actually click here and uh, type something out just to see what it's going to look like before you import it in. If you're happy with the font and you know that's the one you want, you can click this button down here and we are going to hit copy to LumaFusion. It's gonna give you a message that the font has been copied with the name there. So now when we go to our font list, we'll go to the G's and there it is there. So that's one free way to get some extra fonts into your LumaFusion. Now, sometimes those free font apps don't have the specific font you're looking for. Now, if you're just gonna be doing a quick search for a specific font, I just went to the website defont.com and here they have all kinds of different fonts you can download. Now, normally uh, this is where you would download to a computer or a laptop or a desktop and import the font in that way. But here we can import it directly to LumaFusion as well. For example, I'm gonna do this pink blue font so I'm going to click on the download button. Right away it comes to this download page and it gives me the option here to open in LumaFusion. Now it's giving me that option because I've already opened documents like this in LumaFusion. Yours might not be listed there yet, so then you would have to click on more and uh, select the copy to LumaFusion. Now when importing from a website like that, I usually recommend to shut down LumaFusion, restart it. So we'll so I've gone ahead and done that, and now I'll just add some new text. We'll edit it, and that new font should be there. So we'll go down to the P's. We'll select pink blue, and there it is there. Now before I go, I'll show you one quick alternative. If a client has sent you a font file, if you're doing some work for them and they want a specific font. I don't actually have any fonts on my tablet right now, but I'll just show you the steps you would use. So once you have the file from your client, you would just upload it to one of your cloud services, anything like Dropbox or even iCloud. And then you would click these three little dots here and where it says import media. You would then browse to the cloud service that you uploaded it to. So if you uploaded it to iCloud, you would click there. You would find then where you upload it to. You would click on it and hit the select and import it that way. So there's three different ways of importing fonts into LumaFusion. Well, folks, that is basically it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And make sure you subscribe. I have other LumaFusion tutorials I do have planned over the coming weeks, coming months, so you don't want to miss them if you're just learning LumaFusion and uh, want to get to know a bit more about it. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one.